I'm Natalie. Um, I'd like to show you today how I use this backdrop and the newborn that I um, shot not too long ago and basically create this backdrop. <clears throat> this final image of both of them, it's a nice composite, it's a very easy one to make. Um, basically if you, shot, if you shoot your um, baby on a white backdrop and you use the same sort of blanket with the same texture, then it would be super easy for you just to cut out the baby. And drag it in and hold the shift key and that would basically save well, mine is not working at the moment. Let me just try and do it again. There we go. Yeah, that's it. It's working now. And it's basically going to keep the um, right proportions of the baby. So you won't stretch it up and down. Um, just hit OK here. And let's play a little bit with the opacity here, so we can see where we are. So what I want to do is, I just want to put the baby in the right position. So I think this, this will be a good place to put the baby in. Um, she's not too much out and not too small. I might make her just a little bit, a touch bigger. Alright, that's probably okay. So I'm going to hit OK. Get the opacity back up. Let's open a new layer here. We have the um, white back background on the layer. So we're going to take the, um, the brush and the brush is going to be on black. I'm going to use 100% opacity and the brush is really just the softest that you can make the brush slightly bigger and just go around the baby I'm going to take all these harsh edges off what I'm going to do I'm going to get the opacity a little bit lower even less and just Go gently in. What I want to do is I want to keep the natural shadow in. If you see the shadow around the baby, it's not much of it, but we, we would like to keep that in because that's what's going to make it look much more believable. Alright, that looks okay. Not perfect, but it's okay. I'm going to get the uh, white brush now and bring back the opacity to 100% and go a little lower. I'm going to go around the baby and bring back all the edges that we accidentally just took off. There we go. just want to work slowly and have a bit of patience, just need to look and see all the details and how you can just improve it and make it look as realistic as you can. Okay, um, I think that looks alright, I might just Take a bit of no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let me just undo it here. My auto undo is not working at the moment, so I'm gonna use all those. Okay. 
so yeah so as you can see it's it's really easy and it's very fast if you um, take the photo of the baby on the same sort of blanket um, use white blankets or very light color blankets for light colored um, backdrops and if you um, if you're using really dark um, backdrops um, you can just shoot the baby on a black black blanket and that will make it very easy to use. I'm gonna make more tutorials and maybe show other ways of working but this is pretty much um, the easiest way. So I'm gonna flatten this one. Um, just to bring it all together I always like to use uh, maybe some other filters that I have I'm not quite sure what I used with the, the other one, the one that is already made, but I can just go and pick whoever looks good to me and this would really bring it together and make it look really um, nice and realistic. So again, this is the final, the final image. And you can also see I kind of made her cheek a little bit, her cheeks a little bit um, rosy, just to make her look nice and soft. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to make more. Um, I hope my English is okay. I know it's not perfect. It's just my second language and I'm, I'm just a little bit struggling with it. But I hope it's okay. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.